Hi, my name is Philip King and welcome to this tutorial on recording a macro using Microsoft Word. Today I'm going to show you how to record a macro using Microsoft Word 2003. This is the first of a three part tutorial. In part two I'll show you how to create macro shortcut keys and in part three I'll show how to edit a macro. If you would prefer a high resolution version of this video one can be downloaded from my website with a printable guide. Why would you want a macro? Well there's nothing quite like a macro for getting repetitive work done quickly. And although creating a macro can seem mysterious, it's really quite simple. So in this three part tutorial, I'll show you the basics of creating, running and changing a macro for Microsoft Word. For my demonstrations I'll be using Word 2003, but the techniques I'll show you can be used on any version of Microsoft Word. First imagine your company has just changed its name and all occurrences of your company's name needs changing in every document you use, i.e. the old company name needs changing to your fantastic new company name every time you produce a new document. Well we are going to write a macro that does a search and replace in any open document to change your old company name to your fantastic new company name automatically. We'll begin by using a dummy document containing several instances of the old company name. We start creating the macro by clicking on the Tools menu tab and selecting the Macro menu item, followed by the Record New Macro menu item. This will open the Record Macro dialog box where you can enter the name of the macro in the Macro Name input box. It's best to give your macro a memorable name. Note. Your macro name cannot contain spaces or special characters. Stick with letters, numbers and underscores. We want this macro to be available in all documents, but if you wanted the macro to only work in a particular template, you can choose that in the Store Macros In drop-down dialog box. When you've entered a name, click the OK button to continue. You are now recording a macro. You know you are recording by the Stop Record toolbar which will appear somewhere in the window. You can move this toolbar to the Menu toolbar for convenience. It has two buttons. A square button is used to stop the macro recording. The other button, which looks like two vertical lines and a dot, is the Pause Resume button. With Record on, ensure your cursor is at the beginning of the document by pressing the Control plus Home keys. Then click the Edit Menu tab, followed by the Replace Menu item. This opens the Find and Replace dialog box. Enter the Find What text, in this case Old Company Name. Enter the Replace With text, in this case New Fantastic Company Name, and click the Replace All button. Word displays the number of replacements made. Choose OK. Then select Close. Stop the macro recording by clicking on the Stop Recording button of the Stop toolbar. The Stop toolbar will disappear at this point. Alternatively, choose the Tools Macro Stop Recording command. You can now see that the old company name has been replaced by the new company name. To demonstrate the macro, I'm now going to undo the search and replace to restore the original documents. Now that we have our original document, we can invoke our new macro by clicking on the Tools menu tab. Selecting Macro, and then Macro from the menu items. This opens the Macro dialog box where you can select the macro name to run. In this case, change company name. Click the Run button, and Word runs the macro. It begins at the top of the document, makes the replacements, and then stops. Congratulations, you've created a macro. More videos and tutorials can be found at my website. I'll see you there. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.